What's up guys, it's Walker Bryant and I am here at, well I'm actually not at Famous Birthdays, but I am doing an interview for Famous Birthdays right now. So yeah, let's get into this. So for this interview, I have this beautiful vase of questions, various questions that I have no idea, I have no idea what's in here, so I'm just gonna be picking out of these randomly and I'm gonna be answering them. Hopefully I don't push them down into the vase and they get stuck, but we have a ton of questions, so let's get started. All right, guys, question one. Let's see what we get. We're pulling out of the vase. And the question is, if you could meet three people, dead or alive, who would you want to meet? All right, so that is kind of a tough question, but I think number one, I'm gonna obviously have to go with the famous Juice World because, you know, he is one of my favorite artists and he's literally a legend. I mean, that's his whole brand. He's literally a legend. So I would love to meet him. And then honestly, as well as Michael Jackson, that, that would be super cool. I mean, I used to be a big fan of Michael Jackson, like everything. His whole story just fascinates me, to be honest. And then, who else would I want to meet? Oh, those are two, those are two artists, because like, I love to meet artists, but, oh, who else? Honestly, let me think, let me think for one second. Who would I want to meet? Honestly, I'd want to meet, oh, who, who would it be? I, I don't know who I'd want to meet, let me just, let me think for a second, okay. Honestly, I wanna meet Santa Claus. I wanna meet Michael Jackson, Juice World, and Santa Claus. Boom, those are my three people, you already know. All right, next question, let's pick out of the vase. Question number two is, let's see what we got, let me read it. Okay, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Honestly, I'm gonna take some pumpkin pie because I love pumpkin pie and actually, my favorite part about my birthday and pumpkin pie is that they're actually like in the same like kind of month. So like pumpkin stuff is around during my birthday and I just love pumpkin pie. So it kind of works out perfectly. So instead of having cake, I get pumpkin pie. It's just, it's all so perfect. Okay, so I obviously, I'd obviously take pumpkin pie and then I would also take ramen. I feel like ramen's fire. So I'll have ramen and then pumpkin pie on the side. And for my drink, it'd probably be an Oreo milkshake or you know, something to keep me like at least alive because if I ate that every day, I don't even know what would happen, bro. I'd literally go crazy. I guess I'll just drink some water, some classic water or Arnold Palmer iced tea. I don't know if you've heard that. That's like my favorite drink. So yeah, Oreo shake water, Arnold Palmer iced tea, and then pumpkin pie and ramen. Boom, chicken miso ramen, mildly spicy. We already got it. All right, next question. Oh my, they have fallen. Let me see if I can get a question. Oh yeah, we got it. Okay, question number three. Let's see what we get, let's see what we get. All right, was there ever a time you wanted to completely quit social media? Um, actually, I never really thought about like actually quitting, but like taking a break maybe, and that's when like, that's when I like, I was going through a lot of hate at one point, this was like a while ago, and I was like, bro, this, this sucks, because I wasn't used to getting hate, and I was like, honestly, I don't know, I just need to take a break from this. I can't handle this, like, it's like I go and post like a TikTok or something and all I see is just hate and it, it was just terrible. So, yeah, that's probably when I'd want to quit. But you know, I never did because I love you guys, so. All right, next question. Honestly, I'm just gonna see if I can get these out of here. Okay, they're coming out. All the questions are coming out of the base. Oh my, there's so many. Okay, I gotta separate all these. All right, there we go, there we go. All right, next question. I don't even know what we're on. I already lost count, but we're gonna answer it. If you could find out one thing about your future, what would it be? It would be that I have my dream car, dream house, and a, f and a family. I want a family, I want like a wife, a kids, dream car, dream house, and yeah, that's basically how it goes. I mean, who wouldn't want that in their future? You know, that's like the perfect thing. Okay, next question. If you could take control of anybody's Instagram account for one day, whose would it be and why? Honestly, I would say someone that's like super hated so I can see all the hate comments, but like I feel like I'd actually get discouraged just like even though it's not even me. But um, probably like Justin Bieber because he has, he probably gets so many notifications on Instagram and then I could like go on a date with a girl and my phone's just like blowing up from Instagram notifications and she, she's like, oh, I heard you're important. You're like, yeah, bro, I'm just like Justin Bieber. You already know, I'm his manager. I have his account, yeah. <laughs> nothing big, nothing big. All right, next question. <laughs> all right, okay. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? Oh, okay, I got a lot. I think 
I think this has happened to everybody. Like, you've known someone for like years, like a long time, and you literally forget their name for some reason. Like, you don't, don't even lie. Like, you, like, you'll, they'll see you and they'll be like, oh, what's up, Walker? And you're like, what's up? What's your name again? And they just like get so pissed. You're like, bro, I'm sorry. I don't remember your name. <laughs> I feel like that's happened to everybody, but it's time for the next question. So let's see, what advice would you give your past self? Like I said, when I almost wanted to quit, I would tell myself to just not listen to the hate and don't let it get to me because it'll go away soon. Because it did, it literally went away in like a week. It was just like a weak thing. I don't know what it was. It was just completely random, just a bunch of hate. And like now I don't care about hate, like really at all, unless it's like, Unless all my comments are hate, other than that, I don't really care about hate because everybody's gonna hate. Like once you get up there, people are gonna hate. People don't like it, like, just think about it. Like how many people love Justin Bieber? Like I just said, I just, random example, but like how much hate he really gets. Like, but look how successful he is. Like, you, you can't listen to hate, you cannot. Okay, if you were stranded on an island, you could only take three objects, what would they be? All right, I already got, you. I already got this. I take the iPhone 13 Pro that's like coming out and I would take that. And then I would take a power supply, like literally just straight up power supply, and then a router. So I could have a power supply, iPhone 11, 13 Pro, and, um, and internet. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so like basically I could be on my phone for the rest of my life while I survive off of coconuts from palm trees and just go swimming in the water on the island. Unless it's like some dangerous island that I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Okay. What are your favorite movies of all time? Woo! All right, all right, all right. Favorite movies? Dude, honestly, I have to go with like, probably some of the Billy Madison movies. They're all so, did I say Billy Madison? Adam Sandler movies, including Billy Madison. They're all so good. I just, I love Adam Sandler. His movies are absolutely great. Um, or I'd go with also, I'd also go with Deadpool and then Free Guy, the movie that just came out with Ryan Reynolds because Ryan Reynolds is my favorite actor and I just love that movie. It is actually so good. I saw it in theaters and like I was actually amazed over that movie. And I don't even really watch TV or movies like that. So it was pretty cool to see like a really good movie come out. All right, we got the last three questions right here. All right, oh, hold on, I can't look. I don't, I don't wanna look, I'm not looking, I swear. All right. Which people or accounts are your favorite to follow on social media? My favorite social media accounts are like, let's say, Party Shirt, Hash, or Factor Cap. Bro, I love Factor Cap. They show me all that stuff that I always wonder about on TikTok, if it's real or Cap. So Factor Cap, shout out to you because you literally helped me with so many things. Like, it's crazy how many things are actually real that you thought you were fake and how many fake, fake things were Re Wait, I just said that. Oh my God, I'm getting all twisted up. And how many real things that, you, that were actually fake that you thought were real? Boom. They test it out for you and I love that. And then I also like to follow like Cash Dami, who's one of my favorite artists. He posts tons of cool videos and like I just love his music. So I like to follow him. And then, who else? I'm gonna think of one more person. Who else do I love to follow? My friends. I love following my friends, you know, see what's going on in everybody else's lives and comment and you like stay in the loop because like, you know, it, it kind of keeps you up to date with someone. Like if you have a friend and you haven't seen them, like you got on a trip or something, you kind of know what they're doing using like social media. So yeah, there it is. How do you like to spend your spare time? Obviously spending my spare time is filming YouTube videos. Well, actually, I don't know. Is that my spare time or is that my, like my actual time? Um, yeah, I don't even know. I love filming YouTube videos, but usually I'm doing school, but I don't love to spend my spare time like that, so I kind of just have to do that. But some things I love to do are play video games with my friends, only with my friends. I do not play video games by myself. I get so bored. And then I like going out to eat. It's also super fun. And then I play soccer. I'm on a club soccer team, so soccer is one of my favorite things to do. I just actually started playing keeper, like goalie, in soccer, so I'm just training for that. So I'm doing a lot of training in my free time right now. And yeah, I like to do a lot of various things, like sketching, like drawing and like drawing anime characters, watching a little bit of an anime, I watch Naruto. That's like the only anime I really like. So there's that and I don't really watch TV. So like if I'm watching TV, I'm watching Naruto. And then, yeah, let me think, let me think. So yeah, I like skating, BMXing, swimming, playing soccer. I like to do a lot of things in my free time. Like literally when I'm not doing school, I'm doing a lot of other things because <laughs> school takes up like all of my day, I swear. All right, last. Question, where do you get inspiration for your products slash content? Well, 
I actually get a lot of inspiration from many different people, like even people who you think don't even do content like me. Like I get a lot of inspiration from Juice World. Like I watch his old clips and like some things are like super motivational, how he came from like literally nothing and like blew up and like everybody knows who he is. So that's something super cool to me. And then I also watch Balen Levine. I don't know if you've heard of him, but I watch Balen Levine. He's super funny, even though I don't do as many like crazy pranks as him. Like he does a lot of public pranks, which I don't really do a lot of those. But <laughs> when he does them, they're super funny. Like I don't even know how he pulls through with that stuff because it is funny. And I also like to watch some people like for video ideas. It's like Ben Azelar. Shout out to you, Ben. I watch Ben a lot. And then. Yeah, I mean, that's basically, yeah, I, I watch a lot of YouTube and my favorite people and inspirations, like, basically, like, I'm talking, like, YouTube and it's, like, Juice World. Well, that's music. Juice World, Ben Levine, and then Ben Azelar. I get a lot of my, like, I get a lot of my, like, video ideas from Ben Azelar and Balin, and then I get, like, a lot of inspirational things from Balin and also Juice World. So, yeah, that's my inspiration. <laughs> But that was the last of the questions, so yeah, we have all these questions that I just answered for you guys. Let me know if you want me back on Famous Birthdays, because I always love doing these little interviews for you guys. And my birthday is actually on September 26th, so that is coming up right now. Today I am filming this on the 23rd of September, so you know, it's going to be coming up very soon. Thank you so much for organizing this interview, Famous Birthdays. I love you guys, and I love all of you fans out there watching this video. Thank you guys so much, and yeah, my name is Walker Bryant, and it was great seeing all you guys. Peace out.